So today we have Serum Kim of mm -hmm. the Interdisciplinary Engineering Program. So hi, Serum. Hello. How are you today? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm well, thanks very much. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, can you introduce yourself? Oh, okay. So hello, guys. Um, my name is Serum Kim. I'm a first year from Interdisciplinary Engineering, also called as IDE. And I'm currently studying engineering there. Yep. Okay, Saram, so can you describe your program? I think IDE's uh, engineering program that you can learn um, broad engineering field and with high quality teaching in Japan. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, so Saram, um, let's talk about your childhood for a second. Mm -hmm. um, so what were your favorite subjects as a kid? Uh, my favorite subject as a kid was mathematics since mathematics always has a one correct right answer and uh, solving toward that one correct answer step by step and like getting there that correct answer at the end really satisfied me at the end. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, can I ask why you chose Japan mm -hmm. for your studies? Oh. Um, I used to live in Japan and I'm already used to uh, Japanese people and the culture and I really love um, their kindness and uh, um, how they interact with foreigners too. And so that was the, one of the reasons why I came to Japan and studied. And why did you choose uh, the University of Tsukuba? Oh, since the University of Tsukuba is a top 10 university in Japan, and uh, you can get really high quality of education with low tuition fee compared to United States or like other countries that is known for engineering. Okay. Um, okay, so let's talk a little bit about uh, your admission process because it's something that um, our audience really wants to know probably, mm -hmm. like how did you apply? What was the admission process like and so on? So can you tell us a little bit about the admission process uh, you first have to write an essay, 1,200 word essay, which is not <laughs> normal thing if you apply to other private university in Japan. And also you have to send your GPA, uh, high school grades, and, and you also have to get high school teacher recommendation letter, I think. And the great thing about admission in IDE is that you can write 1,200 word which is really long essay. So you can express yourself why you really want to get into IDE, why you really want to come to Japan and University of Tsukuba. So it's a really great chance to show yourself and not only not just a great GPA sheet, but as a person, you can show that you're motivated to study IDE in IDE and University of Tsukuba. Okay. And and you passed the first round, right? Mm -hmm. And obviously, and then for the second round, mm -hmm. I understand that you had an interview. Mm -hmm. What was the interview process like? Uh, I first got into Zoom and there was like eight, nine professor waiting for me. And they first asked my name and then asked me why I wanna study in Japan. Why do you wanna study in Tsukuba? And then later on, they asked me a little bit question, little question about physics and mathematics and this was about it hmm. and how many minutes did it take do you remember it was roughly 20 30 minutes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and were you nervous i was nervous <laughs> <laughs> i was right. sweating and like yeah. shaking <laughs> right right but it was yeah but it was okay for you yeah, yeah it was okay yeah mm. okay uh what, what's your all out favorite course mm. uh, in the IDEA program so far? So far, my favorite course is Calculus, Calculus 1 and Calculus 2. Since um, I would say, uh, since when I was a kid, I liked the mathematics. So, Calculus is like one of the hardest mathematics you can learn. And like Calculus are the all the basics of engineering. So, I really um enjoying learning that courses and id mm -hmm. can i ask a really uh like a dumb question from mm -hmm. a layman's point of view but mm -hmm. 
you said that calculus is necessary for engineering. Mm -hmm. uh, can you explain? Oh, uh, so when you become an engineer, before you actually build or plan, uh, build or create stuff, you have to plan and calculate before you actually move into action. So calculus is a very useful tool to plan and calculate everything before yeah, everything starts. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, let's talk a little bit about like specifics of living in scuba mm -hmm. and, and basically surviving. Like, um, um, do you have a scholarship? Uh, I used to have a scholarship. Mm -hmm. And how did you apply for it? I received scuba scholarship and they uh, IDE program offered me a scholarship when I first got into IDE. I have to renew the scholarship every April and when in the April, I have to compete with three or four other students to get that one spot. And it was quite difficult to get that one spot. So I ended up losing, not being selected to that spot. But I think University of Tsukuba has a lot of very various numerous scholarships available for international students. So you can go to the offshore side of Tsukuba University and you can apply to various scholarships. Mm. Right, right. Mm. And uh, also, like, uh, are you able to make it financially uh, in terms mm. of living or rather, my question would be, mm. um, how much does it cost to mm. live in scuba? Um, if you live in the dorm, and if you can save up money and gas and electricity quite a lot, then I think if you have uh, 80,000, 70,000 yen per month would be enough. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. if you go out and eat a lot and go Tokyo with your friends, then it's going to be quite expensive. <laughs> it's going to be quite expensive. <laughs> it's yeah. Quite expensive. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just, it's right. transportation yeah. and everything yeah. in Tokyo is like, expensive. So, <laughs> Right, no doubt. Um, and w one thing, if you don't mind me asking, mm -hmm. I think during the prep, we talked a little bit, mm -hmm. but you are going to take a break from mm -hmm. university. Mm -hmm. uh, why are you doing that? Oh, since I'm going to, I have to serve a military since I'm a Korean and all men uh, after age 20 have to serve 18 months of military service, which is different determined. So I'm going to take two years, two years to finish the military service, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. and, uh, and you are able to continue uh, university after the military service? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Well, best of luck with that. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, okay, so wh what were some of the difficulties that you faced when you first came to Tsukuba? Um, Usually my friends had difficulties of language barriers since it's all in Japanese. So when you do stuff all in Japanese, it's hard to understand and all the process is really hard. But since I can speak Japanese, I didn't have much difficulties in that. But I, since I used to live with my parents, I felt very lonely when I was living in on the dorm alone. So yeah, that was the one of the difficulties I had. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and um, for people who are thinking of like applying to Japan or applying to University of mm -hmm. Scuba, what advice would you give them? Oh, I think you should be able to speak very, very basic Japanese, at least, since if you cannot speak any Japanese here, like it's really, really hard to I would say, survive. And it's very stressful too. So please be prepared to speak a little bit of Japanese, like basic Japanese skills mm -hmm. before coming to Japan. What's it like to live away from your family? Mm. So it's very lonely not being able to see your family. So the one thing I did was bring over friends at night since, yeah, you don't have parents here. But on the other hand, there isn't any parents who's going to tell you to say, oh, come back home at 10 p.m. or 9 p.m. You have to come back and sleep. <laughs> so you can just bring your friends and just talk with them, chit chat until the morning if you feel lonely. And also you can join various, like there's so many circles in Scuba, so you can join and make a 
friends and join the social groups, that will really help you. Mm. So I, I think circle is a Japanese word. Uh, uh, so uh, what, what do you mean when you say a circle and what mm. circle are you part of? A circle will be like a clubs mm, that, I've, that is available for all the students to join. And I'm currently uh, part of like three or four circles. Um, one of them is uh, CASA, uh, which is known for uh, international students and Japanese students to socializing, socializing circle. And other is a variable circle. And one last one is a basketball. Wow, you must be really busy with uh, your studies and your, <laughs> your four, or three or four mm, clubs. But it's, it's really fun, like meeting with lots of people and like playing sports since Tsukuba is also known for sports and all the facilities is, is really good. So playing sports is really fun. Okay, yeah. good. Well, uh, any last words, Serum? Um, I'll say good luck to everyone since University of Tsukuba is not a, a easy university to get in, in since it's a top 10 university in Japan. But once you get in, uh, you'll meet lots of really, really nice people and good people. So I hope you get in and good luck. Great. Uh, Sarum, thank you so much. And best of luck yeah, you. Uh, with, with your studies and also with your military service, upcoming mm -hmm. military service. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot. Thank you.